I'm sitting in front of the on in front of the window and it's raining, which I'm actually kind of worried about because you might be able to hear it. Um, but you can kind of see like down my face at some points the shadow of the rain. Not that I really thought it out. I mean, I'm just not sitting on my bed because it's a mess. First homemade hot chocolate of the year. Don't support Starbucks. Also though, Starbucks hot chocolate tastes like shit. Why would you support that anyway? Okay, so this month wasn't the best month for movies and side note, I'm gonna start calling these, like this one will be my November film recommendations just because I'm recommending you these films in November even though they're the films I watched last month but you know, October wasn't the best month for films at all because I really stressed myself out about my first uni essays. First of all, I worked Carrie, the, the 1976 version of Carrie. Okay, it was okay. At the beginning of the movie, I was very confused because I felt like they were kind of sexualizing Carrie but then as the film progressed I really liked it I was kind of worried because I don't like um like creepy like I like creepy films I don't like horror films or that I enjoyed it like it was scary but like I thought it was great was the end and um, the end is like really creepy you'll probably be like oh shit but I really liked it and um, the soundtrack reminded me a hell of a lot of Lolita so I really liked that but yeah Carrie was okay I'd give it like a, a three out of five I really I really enjoyed the book so much. I think I gave the book a 5 out of 5 because I thought it was quite feministy. So I really liked that. Read the book. Maybe watch the film. Not that bothered if you do or you don't. I would like to quickly apologise for the sound of rain all the way through this. Soothing. Oh, most amazing film of the month. Well, there's two. First of all, The Death of Charlie Countryman. I'd never heard of this film. Came out in 2003. It just came up on my IMDb page and I looked at it and I was like, I'm gonna watch that. It's so amazing. So, so amazing. It's about um, Shia LaBeouf. Shia LaBeouf? Shia LaBeouf? Um, not about him, about like he's the main character and his mum dies and he decides to go on like an adventure to get over the death of his mum and he gets in so much trouble, so much trouble um, like oh, I don't want to ruin it for you but falls in love and you're like Fiona, you hate romance in movies and I do I do. But this one's okay. I can deal with this one. The only criticism of this film is the leading lady who looks like Kristen Stewart I just feel like she has nothing to say, like she does not have any say in it because basically there's a love triangle and she's the middle of it um, and then Hannibal Lecter and um, Shia LaBeouf are fighting over her. I mean the guy who plays Hannibal Lecter in the TV show, what's his name? Mad Milkinson. Amazing. I think he plays like the creepy roles really well and his role in this is just amazing. But yeah, I love this film so much, please watch it. The just, oh, like. The storyline is brilliant and the music is brilliant and the characters are brilliant and just like the whole plot, just everything. Like if you're gonna watch one film this month, please watch The Death of Charlie Countryman. Definitely five out of five. It's now on my like top movies list on IMDb and that says something. Not many films, well I say not many films get on there but that's an extensive list but they're only the best. So The Death of Charlie Countryman. I love it, I love it so much. The next film is called Into the Woods. It's not called Into the Woods, it's called The Hunting Ground. Into the Woods, that freaking Anna Kendrick movie. I'm so sorry. I'll put this before. All the way through this, talking about this movie, I keep calling it Into the Woods. It's not called Into the Woods, it's called The Hunting Ground. And I don't know where you're gonna be able to watch this because me and Neve went to go see it at um, my uni because they were doing a screening of it and then they had questions with the director afterwards. And um, so we went to go see it because basically Into the Woods is a film by the director, please don't laugh at this, from the director Kirby Dick. I'll put it on the screen. Please look this movie up. They might have it online. I'm not too sure. But um, I feel like everybody needs to see this. Like I feel like this should be shown in um, like health classes and um, like high school school and um, like PSD classes because it's about the number of rapes that happen at university and although it's set in America it's still important you know I really do believe that everybody should see this film because it's so hard-hitting it's a documentary and I mean there's so many people who just refuse to believe that these things happen but this movie you should see the number of statistics in it and every time they show a statistic it has over five or six sources like these people really put their time and effort because they knew that people don't believe these things people don't want to believe these things after 
after this movie ended, me and Eve sat there in the lecture hall and we were like just so pissed off but at the same time we just wanted to cry and we just looked at each other and it was like, I don't know what to do. Like I, 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 like, I don't know what to do. When I said that me and Eve didn't know what to do, it was just that feeling of utter helplessness that comes when you see people being utterly helpless and you hear stories about how they just couldn't get help and I just, I can't imagine like somebody coming to me and me not being able to help them with something like that. Like I just, I just want to help but I don't know what I can do and like that's definitely something I'm gonna look into because uh, I don't know, that movie was devastating, like absolutely devastating. Yeah, and basically it's about how the universities won't address it because they don't want their reputation to be ruined. And it has cases where if teachers and workers at the university try and help the victims, they'll get fired. I mean, there's an instance where, I don't know what she was, she, I think she was a lecturer because um, she tried to help a girl who, you know, went to the school and she was like, I've been raped and this girl said don't file anything blah 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 like basically told her not to go to the police Emma turned her away and one of the teachers thought that was so wrong so what well lecturers so she took it in her own hands to help her and that same month she was fired and on the day she was fired um even though the school says she was not fired because she helped that girl on the same day she was fired she received um an award for her teaching you know from another establishment <laughs> It's, this movie's so frustrating and it's just, it's like, it's so well done. The Hunting Ground, it was made in 2015. IMBD, IMDB gave it a 6.6 .6 out of 10, which I think is what they actually gave. Oh, Rotten Tomatoes gave it 92%. Just watch it, just please watch this and just show it to like anybody, you know, just get like a few of your friends to watch it with you. It's heartbreaking, honestly, it's heartbreaking, but don't let that put you off, just watch this film, please. Yeah, and it was really cool because afterwards, we had um, a discussion with the director. We were actually supposed to have the producer, but she had to fly back. So the director was really kind, and which was quite funny because we could hardly hear him at points. Um, but she was like, oh, last question, because we could only give him a few questions because he had like a limited amount of time. And I really wanted to like ask him a question because I was like, I want to be a director. You're a director. I just want to talk to you because I think you're cool and I loved your movie and you're Cool. Um, so I asked him a question, I was just really happy about that. All the stories in the film are based off, in the documentary, are based off of real women's um, experiences. There are, I think there's two males in it, but they're not, like, they're, 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 they comment on it, but they're not actually, their stories aren't expanded upon, and I don't know if they didn't want to, but I do think it would have been good to have at least one male you know, um, survivor in there because even it out a bit. I feel like a lot of people think that rape is a female issue. It's not. You know, it's everybody's issue and um, it doesn't only happen to females. But yeah, I didn't really watch too many films this month, but the two you should watch, The Hunting Ground and Charlie Countryman. Well, The Necessary Death of Charlie Countryman. Please watch those two films. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. Blah, blah, blah. If you want to be my friend, be my friend. If you want to subscribe, be my s subscriber. If you want to fix my French, please do. Please just volunteer to fix that. Don't support Starbucks. Yeah!